would have. Let me read something uh, for you guys from the New York Times, um, and I'm going to quote them. Irritation is giving way to panic among the Republican establishment uh, that Trump might not only lose against Clinton, but take a lot of other GOP candidates down with him. Uh, that's that's quite something. And Sally, it, it, it doesn't seem to fear. matter, though, but it doesn't seem to matter. You can tell Republicans who crowd those halls, who go in to see Donald Trump, that this could be catastrophic. They don't seem to care. They don't seem to care about any of what the media has been calling him out for, other Republicans have been calling him out for. I, I mean, look, I have to say, and I'm guilty of this, when Trump was first sort of surging, uh, I, I treated it as a joke. I thought he was a joke, uh, you know, that his candidacy was laughable, that it wouldn't survive. I, you know, I, I, we might be at the point where you, I might weep on national television for the first time ever. This is not funny anymore. And, you know, when you have a candidate who continues to say the sort of, same sort of demagogic things he's saying and his support is maintained, when you see, you know, a, a Black Lives Matter protester uh, beaten during one of his rallies, and he says, well, maybe he deserved to be roughed up when, uh, you know, a, a, an immigrant, a homeless immigrant is beaten by Trump supporters and Trump uh, doesn't condemn that, but in fact says, well, my people are passionate. I mean, when you see this kind of, you know, there's a word for this, Ashley, it's fascism. And people need to remember in this country that Adolf Hitler, when he first rose to power, was elected by 36% of the German voters. This is this is kind of getting deeply disturbing and troublesome, not only for the Republican Party, not only, I mean, for, for democracy and, and justice of, and liberty. There's a lot of really weird brown shirt similarities, too. I mean, identity cards, it's okay to spy on your neighbors, it's, it's uh, the disabled so okay. are worthy of being mocked. Tara, well, let me ask you this. I agree there with are, Sally up until the fascism stuff. Okay, well, there, I mean, what are you going to call it? If it's, 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 you know, it's you're, a lot. You're, you're I mean, demonizing groups of people repeatedly. I think it's and, a little and, bit much to start comparing him to You know what else is a little bit much? The word protest. liar. I'm, I'm not the comparing word, Hitler. I'm saying he's a fascist. Okay. okay. The word liar, the word bigot, the word racist. These are not things you typically see in, say, the Washington Post headlines or Time Magazine, etc. But like you said, you're about to weep on national television. Many of these columnists and reporters are putting these things in their headlines because they say we're at our wits' end. We have nowhere else to go. We have to call it what it is. When he says thousands and thousands of Muslims were dancing in New Jersey, watching the Twin Towers, and I saw it with my own eyes. Which is a, there which is is a no lie. video. Right. It is a lie, folks. It is a lie <laughs> a because lie. we've all worked. I was the managing editor yeah, of an like NBC it. program at the time. There is no video that anyone has ever seen, Mr. Trump included, and Mr. Trump, get your millions and offer it as a bounty for the person who comes up with the video. Yes. I have to leave it there, but I'm going to repeat this, uh, this plea to Mr. T, and that is, sir, since you saw the video, offer a lot of money to put this argument to bed. Offer millions to the person who can show you the video that you think you saw. I think you saw the West Bank where they were tossing candy in the street and there were dozens of them ju jumping for joy. But it looks like but New Jersey. So, no, it does. Hey, I'm from Jersey. It sure it does not look like joke. the West Bank. It's a joke. It sure doesn't. <laughs> it was a joke. Yeah. But there you go, Mr. Trump. It's in Bad your lap. Joke. And I know I'll probably be the subject of the next nasty tweet.